Hey, how you doing everybody? Another Tamu, or Timu, whichever way you prefer to say it. Another Tamu EDC. Like I said, I'm upgrading my EDC. Trying to get some different stuff in the rotation and see how they work out. At the end of after you see all these, I will of course show a follow-up video telling you how they worked out, if I'm going to continue using them, if I'm going to keep using them or whatnot. And then you'll get an idea of what I think of them. And it's completely, you know, indifferent. I bought this all myself. So it's not anybody telling me, you know, kind of make my stuff sounds good. It's going to be a true, honest opinion of how I felt about it and how I used it. So definitely stay tuned. I have, this is to kind of upgrade my keychain. Now it's a, um, let me see here. I'm trying to see because, uh. I did write down the prices here. Ah, this one was 78 cents. You'll see that in a minute. Um, this one was $1.79. So really good prices on these. And I'll explain why I picked these and what was the deal with them. But before we get into that, you know, hit that thumbs up to let people know how you like the video. And of course, after you do that, hit that subscribe so you see the follow up and I get my opinion out there of how I felt about everything and how I used it and if it's staying in the rotation because hopefully all this will make its way into rotation very good price I think I got it in two separate bags one was like 15 one was 12 so it didn't break the bank but it's a couple little things you can add to your EDC to kind of up your game and keep things going now this one the, it, this one was the 78 cents it's an odd thing, and when I saw it, I thought, eh, why would I want that? But then I kind of thought about it. As you can see, it does have a very nice little slip ring, um, brass color, like the thing. There we go. That's a little disappointing that it only fits in the little nook right there, or the little hole. I thought it would be a complete roll around, but makes no difference it still will work just a, a little different aspect so like i said it's little it's small it fits in your keys you won't know it's there you can fit it on a zipper or something what is it it is a little tiny light box cutting knife i didn't know which side was the knife i did actually look at it beforehand so as you can see kind of a turned brass case it does have a knife that you can replace it does have a little you know i can get it to focus it will have a little screw on there it does have an o-ring on there so it won't get rusted inside now why would i want something like this as you could see you can put it on your finger i'm pretty sure you can come up with ideas of if you have it on your hand i could put a bigger key ring on it or a split ring it could be used for other stuff but my reason for using this is to cut open boxes why pull out an entire big knife People kind of freak out when you pull out a big knife and look at you like, oh my God, what is he going to do with that? You have this little tiny thing. No one thinks twice about it. You just chup, chup, chup. You cut open your box and you're good to go. That was my purpose of it. You know, you're getting stuff in the mail. You're at work or whatever. You have to open a box. You just take out this little thing chup, and you're good to go. It's, it's not thick. It's not as slim as, say, a X-Acto knife, but it's not as thick as a regular knife blade, so I do see reason why they would have it so you could change it. I'm pretty sure you could cut down a um, X-Acto knife, and I'm pretty sure it would fit there, so if you want to use that aspect of it, you could as well if that blade kind of gets worn out. I'm pretty sure you can sharpen this to some sense not completely but you know it's just opening boxes it's a good thing to open up boxes and use that was the reason behind it it was a little something that won't, people won't look at you like what is this guy gonna do is he gonna just stab people or something like some people get nervous when you pull out a large you know a larger knife if you pull out a knife kind of like this people kind of look like oh whoa, whoa and back off if you got a little thing like that no one thinks twice of it People just like, oh, okay, it's got a little thing to cut open a box. What is he going to do that much damage if it's not just a box? Now, the other aspect, I've seen these key bars and I've seen people use them. 
This one, like I said, was $1.79. I got a cheap one. They had better ones that had clips on them, like a knife, like kind of like a... Look, I keep referring to the knife today. Um, kind of like one of these clips on them. I thought, let me get this, the cheaper one. See if it's something I'm going to use. And then if I find I use it a lot, I will invest money into getting something a little bit better. If not, then I can just stay with this. And I'm not going to be too upset because, hey, I only spend, what, $1.79 on it? So didn't break the bank. Didn't cause that much chaos. So as you can see, you can use a coin to open this or a screwdriver. So it's a simple thing right there. You just flip these bad boys up like so. You separate this. You have, of course, your little fake. I would kind of put that in the middle more. That is to hold it on to, say, a key ring or something. I'm trying to keep these separate. So I have the same amount on the same side without having to count them all out. And there's one, one, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven little washers in between. As you can see, it's just a fat, flat piece of metal. It's fairly hefty. It's not going to, like, bend, but... And then you have kind of these nylon style washers in between. And that is to put, of course, I'm not going to show my keys on here because as anybody that does videos or knows about videos, people can make copies of your keys through your video. So you kind of just put this on, put a key, put another one, another washer on, another key. And of course, you can have keys on this side and that side. You can flip them out. And not only... Does it allow you to organize your keys? It also gives you a way to use. We'll go over that in a second, but you know, I find this to be a something I've been wanting to try, but I just haven't gotten into it yet. And I thought this was a perfect opportunity to get something that's cheaper, see if I'm going to use it, and then maybe upgrade to a better one. And of course, that will be a further video if I get to upgrade, or if I decide to upgrade, I guess I should say. So you put both of these in here, boom, like that. And I, like I said, I would split these. So I would have that little piece kind of in the middle, not on the end. I think it's more useful in the middle than in the end. Although it could be if you're more comfortable with it at the end, then of course, go ahead. But let me see here, get that on. It's a little bit harder doing it behind a viewfinder. If you do videos, you know what I'm talking about. And of course, I'm not going to tighten it, tighten it. And I would use um, plumber's um, Teflon tape to kind of put on the, uh, what you call it? I'm not going to use like a Loctite or anything like that, but I would use the Teflon tape to kind of help it hold on the screws. So this way you know it's not going to just fall apart while you're um, using it. Here we go right there, look at that. As I'm recording a video through my phone, I'm getting a Tamu. Hey, you put this in your cart, Are oh, you still want it? Yes, I do, but I'm not gonna get it yet. <laughs> I'm holding off on the next batch of stuff. But as I said, you could just put that right there like that. And when you have your keys on it, it gives you a little extra average, kind of like a knife. You flip your key out and you have a little extra leverage, a little easier way, more of a handle. So you can have more of a purchase on your key when you turn it. So there you have it. You can have a little something extra with your keys. It helps it turn. You have a little thing to put it on. You can put it on your lanyard. I am going to put it on my lanyard with my other keys. I like to keep a certain set of keys with a certain stuff. I have a key from my bike lock, my toolbox, and my file cabinet on one little night eyes thing. Like I said, I'm not going to show the keys. And then I have another set of keys for like the house, other doors in the house, stuff like that. And then I have a couple of little extra things, a, a thumb drive, a couple of those little t Tamu um, screwdrivers, the Phillips and the Flathead. 
So of course the keys will go into that. Everything else will go separate onto the lanyard. This way I can pull that off of the lanyard, throw that in my pocket if I don't want to take the whole keys. So it's a way of organizing stuff. So there you have it, people. The keychain accessories for the EDC. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And like always, people, have a great, great day.